ground will break Where's the debt be sold by When below the clouds men will cry to him When he appears, my friend He's gonna mount the cherubim Soar on the wings of wind Lightning bolts will flash His enemies will dash From his breath From his breath I'm going to be doing the book of 2 Thessalonians this morning And it's not out of any one version There's several versions And if you're watching this by YouTube Just go uh, scan the credits at the end And uh, that's where all the versions are listed for this uh, we're here in this morning, we're here in sunny Balfour, Mapumalanga, South Africa. So we're in a small little church here, praising the Lord. And uh, so I'm just excited because I get to be, for a few moments, the Apostle Paul. And those are some big shoes to try to walk in. I'm not worthy to do that at all. None of us would be. But... Uh, God, thank you so much for your word. Lord, thank you, Lord, that my Bible teacher in Bible school, his main saying was that he always would tell us is that the word of God does the work of God. And today we're going to be in your word 100%. We're going to be reciting 2 Thessalonians. And I pray, Lord God, that your anointing will be upon me. And that you will just allow me for the next few moments to be the Apostle Paul as he shares these scriptures. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. Amen. From Paul, Silas, and Timothy to the church in Thessalonica, the people of God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. May grace and peace be yours, coming to you from God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. We ought always to thank God for you, brothers, and rightly so, because your faith is growing more and more, and the love every one of you has for each other is increasing. Therefore, we speak proudly of you among the churches of God, for your perseverance and faith in the midst of all your persecutions and afflictions which you endure. All this is evidence that God's judgment is right, and as a result, you will be counted worthy of the kingdom of God for which you are suffering. God is just. He will pay back trouble to those who trouble you and give relief to you who are troubled, and to us as well. This will happen when the Lord Jesus is revealed from heaven in blazing fire with his powerful angels. That will be a time when, with fire flaming about him, he will be meeting out punishment to those who do not acknowledge God, who refuse to submit themselves to the gospel which proclaims Jesus, our Lord. They will be punished in everlasting hell, forever separated from the Lord, never to see the glory of His power. When He comes to receive glory and praise from His holy people, and you will be among those praising Him on that day, for you believed what we testified about him. And so we keep on praying for you that our God will make you worthy of the life to which he called you. And we pray that God, by his power, will fulfill all your good intentions and faithful deeds. Then everyone will give honor to the name of our Lord Jesus because of you and you will be honored along with him. This is all made possible because of the undeserved favor of our God and Lord, Jesus Christ. Now,
concerning the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and our being gathered together to him, we ask you, brothers, don't be so easily shaken or alarmed by those who say that the day of the Lord has already begun. Don't believe them. Even if they claim to have had a spiritual vision, a revelation, or a letter supposedly from us. Don't be carried away and deceived regardless of what they say. For that day will not come until two things happen. First, there will be a time of great rebellion against God. And then the men of rebellion will come. The son of hell. He opposes and exalts himself above everything that is called God or is worshipped, and even sets himself up in God's temple, proclaiming himself to be God. Do you not remember that when I was still with you, I told you these things? And you know what is holding him back, for he can be revealed only when his time comes. For this lawlessness is already at work secretly, and it will remain secret until the one who is holding it back steps out of the way. And then shall that wicked one be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. That wicked one will come with the power of Satan and perform all kinds of miracles and false signs and wonders. He will completely fool those who are on their way to hell because they have said no to the truth. They have refused to believe it and love it and let it save them. For this reason, God sends them a powerful delusion so that they will believe the lie. That they all might be damned that believe not the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. But we ought always to thank God for you, brothers, loved by the Lord, because from the beginning, God chose you to be saved through the sanctifying work of the Spirit and through belief in the truth. Through us, He told you the good news. Through us, He called you to share in the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. Stand firm then, brothers, and hold fast to the traditions which you have been taught by us, whether by word of mouth or by letter. Now may the Lord Jesus Christ himself and God our Father who has loved us and given us eternal comfort and good hope by grace fill your heart with courage and make you strong to do and say all that is good. Finally my friends Pray for us that the Lord's message may continue to spread rapidly and be received with honor just as it was among you. And pray that we may be delivered from wicked and evil men, for not everyone has faith. But the Lord is faithful. He will make you strong and guard you from satanic attacks of every kind. And we have confidence in the Lord about you that you are doing and will do the things which we command. May the Lord bring you into an ever deeper understanding of the love of God and the endurance that comes from Christ. Now we command you, brethren, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that you withdraw yourselves from every brother that walketh disorderly, and not after the tradition 
which he received of us. For you yourselves know how you ought to follow our example. We were not idle when we were with you, nor did we eat anyone's food without paying for it. On the contrary, we work night and day, laboring and toiling, so that we would not be a burden to any of you. We did this not because we do not have the right for such help, for such help but in order to make ourselves a model for you to follow. For even when we were with you, this we commanded you, that if any would not work, neither should he eat. We hear that some among you are idle. <laughs> they are not busy. They are busy bodies. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we appeal to such people. No, we command them. Settle down and get to work. Earn your own living. And the rest of you, don't get tired of honest work. And if there be anyone refusing to take heed of the instructions set down in this letter, mark that man and avoid his company so that he may become ashamed of what he has done. Yet do not regard him as an enemy, but warn him as a brother. This should be your ambition to live a quiet life, minding your own business and doing your own work, just as we told you before. In this way, you will win the respect of those who are not believers and will not have to depend on anyone for what you need. Now may the Lord of peace himself continually grant you peace in every circumstance. The Lord be with you all. I, Paul, write this greeting in my own hand, which is the distinguishing mark in all my letters. This is how I write. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. Gone 